Hey, back again to my YouTube channel, it's before g and today I want to talk to you guys about some things that stick out in my head after playing the demo of Brigand in Legend of Renertia. Let's start. First, I want to start with this dude called Gilliam from Manasalicia Theocracy. Okay, I want to say I want to say this, guys. He is a crook. He's a crook cardinal. I will show you the proof in a second. Let us read his profile so we know better why he's a real crook. Okay. First of all, he is the high priest of Manasalicia Theocracy, which means that he is the head priest. He is the head of the head. And it says here as well that sometimes he steals credits from his minions in order for him to secure his position so he can feed his large family. Well, you're not the only one with family, uh, Jillian. You're not the only one. I just want to let you know. And, and then third, he is a cardinal. Okay, he is a cardinal. That means that he is the tier 3, aka the final tier for male healer class. And guess what, guys? Let me show you this. Boom! He only has 65 intelligent. 65 intelligent. Can you believe it? And he's level 20, cardinal. I thought this was a glitch, okay? I thought, oh gee, maybe I should just uninstall this demo version and then reinstall it later on with the updated version. But then this is the only version that is available on Nintendo eShop and I'm so perplexed after looking at his stats how come you only have 65 intelligent that is beyond dumb who are you gonna who are you going to heal with that seriously man and I pulled out some other screenshots for comparisons it's a screenshot from um, the other night um, this one for example um, her name is Aisha from the same country. She's only level 8 cleric, okay? Which means that that is the most basic healer class. And she got 69 intelligent, level 8, basic healer class. 69! That is four, 4 points higher than Gilliam, the cardinal. I'm not sure if this is actually a bug or actually they intentionally put him into such position to be to be a dumb cardinal. And then the next one that I pulled here is um Rech. Rech. I don't know how to say it, maybe it's Rech. Um she's another cleric and she's got 77 intelligent from Shinobi Tribe. And she is level 1, mind you guys. She is level 1. Okay. Let's pull out another another screenshot here. Um, a, a knight from Menace and Theocracy. I'm just like pulling out some random screenshots here. You know, I was just like browsing around. You know, like just click on some random knights. And then I wanted to look at the, the stats. And then to, just to compare the intelligent to Gilliam and then this guy has 73 intelligent 73 intelligent and he is a knight okay meanwhile meanwhile Kyle the paladin I was I was really thinking back then you know oh gee maybe he's like gonna be a, a so so knight a so so paladin maybe he's below Grados but then he's got great stats guys like he's got high defense Pretty high intelligent as well. This is 102. It's pretty high for a for a fighter class. Even Giu the Saint, she's got 103 as the intelligent, 103. This guy's beast, I'm telling you guys. This guy's beast. This I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just so speechless after looking at this Gilliam dude. How come he is the cardinal in that country this is this is a joke right is happen going to change this or i don't know man i don't know but then it kind of makes sense if you if you read his profile it kind of makes sense because it seems like he just he's just an all talk type of guy and n no action no knowledge no nothing to back him up 
Maybe Happynet is just trying to portray what is really happening in real world. Because I can tell you this, I experienced a lot of people that act like him, like Gilliam. He called himself the supervisor, the director, but then when you ask him for a solution or for an advice, they would just they would just like turn away from you. They would just say, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe ask that person. Oh, I don't know. It's like, you know, it's just like such a basic question, but then they didn't have the answer. Yet they have such high rank. And then, you know, of course, I'm thinking, gee, maybe they're just there to collect their six or seven figure salary. And I guess Happynet has some kind of um, humor here, some uh, some sense of humor to show us, gee, actually this type of person does exist in real life. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. And that's pretty, pretty funny in my opinion. That's pretty funny. But maybe they will update it in the future when they release the game. This is just a demo. I'm just still shocked that he's got 65 intelligent. So let's move on. The special thing that I found next is actually uh, Medessa. Medessa is the healer from Shinobi Tribe and she's actually advisor for the country as well. She's the only healer that has paralyzed spell. She's the only one. She is the only healer that I can find in the continent with um, with paralyzed spell. No other healer has this spell. It's so special to her. It's, it only applies to her. So that one sticks sticks out pretty clear. And I couldn't find Della on the map anywhere. <laughs> maybe she's in a mission or something, or maybe she's hiding or resting, but I cannot find Della. She is an assassin, which means that she's a top tier, tier three, uh, dancer type of uh, class. And maybe she's got some kind of uh, unique spells only assigned or applied to her. Next, I want to talk to you guys about Pick. Why is he special? He is the only character that is able to recover 20% of his maximum MP every turn in a battlefield if Elena is together with him. That's a condition. But then this is clutch, man. 20% of his maximum MP. Even Wizard or any other casters, they don't have this perk. He's the only one that got this one. That's crazy. And then later on, if you check his class, his evolution, he's able to cast Fox Dom and Geno Thunder. Fox Dom is an AoE silent spell. That's a huge play there. Plus Geno Thunder, which is gonna hurt like hell. And if you look at pick stats, his intelligent is 92 and he's only level one. Isn't that crazy, man? Isn't that crazy? This is like this is like the best character maybe from Rosalia. I'm not kidding you guys. This is crazy good. This character. Maybe I should I should start with with the Blue Kingdom. Maybe just maybe. The next special thing I found is the Ancient Dragon. So in order for you guys to change your dragon into an Ancient Dragon, you need this item called Eternal Eternal Hellfire. So all I did when I was playing the game was sending all of my knights north south east and west to find any kind of special items and i got this item three stars and then kaboom it changed my dragon into a freaking ancient a dragon so i changed rubino's uh frost dragon first of all and i was thinking gee maybe this ancient dragon will actually inherit some of the blue elemental skills or magic but apparently not it's all gone Every single dragon will evolve into this dragon and every single one of them will have the same red elements and the same skills, which are Flame Lord's Fury, Ultimate Flare, and Grand Fire. Hmm, I really miss the different variations of dragon types in Brigand and Legend Forcina because you can change your dragon into like a Salamander or Fenrir. Fenrir, I mean, but then this time around, no. Everyone will turn into the same dragon, which is the ancient dragon. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Maybe this is just the demo or maybe they will change it later on. Not sure, but this is what I got so far. The last point that I want to talk to you guys about is Thief Class. This skill in particular, Shadow Steel. Okay, this skill is crazy scary in my opinion because he's able to steal one piece of equipment from your character. Okay guys, imagine this. You send a Rubino to the battlefield, okay? 
with his Brigand of Justice equipped. And then there's this enemy character from, I don't know, from any other country, from let's say Menacelestia Theocracy, and this thief manages to kill you with this Shadow Steel skill, and actually he steals your Brigand of Justice. Isn't that crazy? They kind of changed the whole history of Brigandin because each country, well, except for the other one, is supposed to only have one Brigandin. And a thief, a, mer a mere thief, is able to steal it from you. What do you guys think? That's just gonna be insane. I'm not really sure. Maybe Brigandin, uh, the, the special Brigandin, Brigandin of Justice, Brigandin of Ego, or Brigandin of whatever, is um, is immune to be to being stolen. Maybe, but maybe not, right? I don't know. I haven't tested it, but this is actually super interesting. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think? This is going to be super crazy. It's going to be chaos. All right. My my wishes right now is for HappyNet to actually implement um, some sort of, I don't know, like a way to replenish your mana or recover your mana in the battlefield. Okay. Maybe, maybe an item that is just one time use that is still useful or an equipment, for example, right? Maybe there is. I don't know. I haven't found it yet. And please, uh, for the DLC or for any other updates, please add some more classes to the game, some more branches to the game. For example, um, in Brigadon Legend of Vorsina, if you are a, a mage, you can branch out to be a, um, a male mage. I mean, you can branch out either to uh, become a sorcerer or to a druid. And then Druid later on will evolve into a Necromancer, and then of course Sorcerer will, ev ev will evolve into a Wizard. Or maybe add a quest, a special quest, where you can find a super special item that will improve, well, it will it, it will evolve your current Tier 3 characters into Tier 4, for example. Right? Like, uh, let's say change uh, Mua the Wizard into Warlock, the Master of Elemental. Instead of just giving him fire and dark elements, uh, which is, I don't know, a pretty, not bad, I must say, it's not bad. It's just like, I want some variation. Maybe this is the reason why Happiness is not giving him all kind of elemental magics or spells uh, for wizard class. Because maybe they think, oh my gosh, it's just going to be so OP for a class, a single class, to have all, all of this kind, all of these assets, all of these arsenals to just pick and choose and this character alone is able to tear down the enemies because you know he can just choose which whichever elemental is uh, suitable in the battlefield maybe that's what they're thinking okay i'm not really sure but then i'm still hoping that maybe there's a tier 4 class by doing quest or by leveling up that character that particular character into the maximum level maybe Later on, you know, if you guys want to release the Brigand Legend of Orsina, uh, Brigand Legend of Inertia Grand Edition, <laughs> maybe give some more uh, special classes to the main generals of the countries, you know, because right now they're all pretty generic, like Dala, the Assassin, of course, Assassin, everybody can turn into Assassin, and then Moa, the Wizard, everybody can turn into Wizard, um, Paladin, Grados, the Paladin, everybody can turn into Grados, into Paladin, I mean, so I'm just hoping that they would add some more special characters that, I mean, like Toby, like Peck, or like Umimaru. The only special classes in the game other than the rulers that I've found so far. So yeah, this is just my wishes um, for this game. And I really love the game. Don't get me wrong. I'm giving it 9 out of 10. I would have given it 10 out of 10 if they actually implemented some more classes variations and cl i mean classes branches or variations and some more special characters like pick umimaru and toby but then right now we only have those three plus the rulers i'm just hoping that they would apply the same special classes to the main generals on each kingdom and that would just make the game even you know better more hyped well it's just my wishes what do you guys wish for this game for the future updates and for the DLC. Let me know in the comment and see you guys in the next video.